How's it going guys? Josh here, AKA Olufemi, and my bro Ben Haggerty, founder of Black With No Cream. More on that later. Um, ben is here, he's gonna tell you a bunch of thick tips in the realm of post-production, specifically about speed ramping. All right, so uh, I'm a director, editor, shooter, do all kinds of randomness. Um, but one of my favorite things to do in my videos are speed ramps. I use them all the time and it always blows clients' minds, like pretty much every single time. So I figured I'd try to kind of show you how I do them and hopefully you can utilize that in your next video. So across the street from my house, um, there was they were tearing down the House of Blues and they had this crane with the um, American flag on top of it and I thought it looked so cool and I, I wanted to capture this with my drone in slow motion while circling around it. So what I did was I tried to make it so I could speed ramp around all the uglier content and land in that spot and stop for a few moments so the viewer could like sit there for a second and then speed ramp out of it. And that would give me uh, the ability to get out of like this close up shot and go to like a wide. Okay, dude, this is where it's interesting. I remember like two years ago when we first met, mm -hmm. we were working on this music video and you needed speed ramping. And I was like, I know how to do speed ramping. Right. And so what I did was you gave me a clip and I used the blade and I cut it and I just like adjusted the, the speed and duration for the next clip. Right, I hate that. So like zoomed up <laughs> and you're like, oh Josh, that's great. I actually have another way to do it. And I'm like, there's no other way to speed ramp. So what was your solution? And it's actually the way that I have done speed ramping ever since. So yeah, I see a lot of people do what you were talking about and I like to do it a little different. So what I do is try to find the most important part of the clip that I want to slow down to. And I already pointed it out that it's going to be that sun in the background of the flag. So say I like, this has a stopping point and I want to end here. I want to ramp into that part, see it for a second, ramp out and continue the spin. All right, Ben, so I'm going to narrate what you're doing. We're actually going to do this two times, one on an individual clip and then one again on the clip inside the project. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you the new way to speed ramp without having to cut the clip up and then change the speed and duration. This is going to give you a lot more precision. What you're going to do is you're going to click on the clip. You're going to go to show clip keyframes. You're going to go to time remapping and then you're gonna click speed. Now, what you've done is you've actually made this line here that usually controls the opacity actually control the speed of the clip. So right now the speed is at 100% when it's right in the middle of the clip, but as I actually bring it up, it's gonna go higher and higher, 200, 300, all the way up to 1,000, I believe, it can go all the way up. And that's just gonna make the clip faster. So right now we're gonna have the clip at like 300 something, as you can see, the clip has been made three times as fast. We're gonna bring it up to 500, the clip is even faster. Perfect, so we're gonna undo that. Control Z, Control Z. And what we're gonna now do is we're gonna apply keyframes to actually allow you not to only speed up the clip, but actually allow you to speed ramp the clip. So what you do is you're gonna to have to go into the pen tool, click actually the pen button, or you can click P as a keyboard command, and then you're gonna click on any part of the clip and you've created this bar here. We're going to go back into the selection tool and we're going to now raise this up to let's say 700. So what you've now done is you've raised up this part of the clip to 700% so it's going really fast but this part of the clip is still at 100% approximately. So as you can see the clip's gonna start fast and then it's gonna go slow. I'm gonna show you again. Fast and then go slow. Now, that's not the only thing you can do. You can actually allow there to be a gradual decrease in speed by actually doing this. So it's gonna go fast and then it's gonna gradually go back down to 100%. All right, perfect, Ben. I'm gonna have you do this again actually in the project and what he's gonna do is he's gonna even add another level of craziness to this. So what I do is I go and I click on the clip, go show clip keyframe, speed, zoom in here a little bit. And if this is a spot where I wanna end it at, drop that in, bring this up to a thousand because I shot it in 60 frames. So that's gonna be still slow even at a thousand. And that's, that's one issue that people deal with. That's why the ramps are really lame because they just accept that this is as fast as it will spin around and you can see that it's going to get there and eventually slow down but i want it to be even faster than that so what i do is first i adjust this just to give it a nice grad slow down into the frame and so let's see where it ends that's a cool spot so if that's what i like then i pick out my out point so i wanted to play that for a few seconds and then click here and get out right 
add that a little. So now the, the clip performs like this. Let it get through this. Which is cool, but I want it to go even faster. So I want to make those ramps really, really fast. So what I always do is I go in here and sometimes it's kind of finicky, but you want to find, see these points here? I want to make sure that I'm cutting on that exact point because if you see that there's there's this difference between where my razor is going to cut and where that header, where this header actually ends. See how, it's, like it's very, I don't know how to say that. See how, how like close it is? So what I like to do is drag this and find it and make sure it matches this point here or any of these points and make my cut there. Then I'll go to the same side and do the same thing over here. So if I want it to end here, then that means I need to drag this guy just a little bit. Make my cut. So now I've cut, the slow motion part is cut out and these two fast parts are here. So what I do then is I'll change the speed. Say I'll do 2000. See how, how much of a clip that just got rid of. Let's see, that might be too fast. Maybe I'll do 1200. Nah, 1500. And do the same for the front. So now when I pair these together, All right, so say I wanted that to be an entire loop. What I'll do is I'll just copy all of it and paste it, line it up. So now when I play it, it'll do the same rotation over and over again. And it looks like one continuous loop, right? Wow. Which is really sick. So let's say, let's take it a step farther. I want to add the wide shot to that. And for this wide shot with the drone, as you can see, now I have the speed ramp set up and it's at, the speed is at, 1500%, but you see that second side takes so long to get around. What I can always do is just speed that up. Maybe 3000% will get me around it a lot quicker. Let's see how that looks. It's cool, maybe even more, 5000. So now, I love that we keep clinking these. So now that I've got both the clips like set up the way I want, I wanna bring them together. So I showed you before i basically have these two videos looping right mm -hmm. so if i just bring these together it'll look cool but the problem is is once it speeds to go to that wide we need to make sure that they kind of end and start at the same point so right here you see i'm right there and also i'm at this building so we need to find out where that point is drag this out maybe just a we need so basically we need to end right there so we come over here it's not it yet Boom. So that's where we want this to start, but we also want to make sure that this ends the same spot. So right here when it's super fast, mm, we'll end right there. Cool, so you bring them together. Let's duplicate that. So now we have two loops from the close-up and two loops from the wide. So. Now we have it looking like this, and then obviously if you post it, it's just gonna sit there and continuously loop on your Instagram. You could also change it so you could do a close-up and then go wide. You could do it however, whatever variation you want. That was so genius. Like seriously, I learned so much right there. I didn't even know that. Sorry. Um, let's plug Black With No Cream. Black With No Cream is an incredible creative collective that I'm a part of. Um, you started it. There's yes. like, how many people? There's like probably, I think there's like more than a thousand people in the group now. It's a creative collective full of people from all over the world. They share tips, tricks, um, make connections. It's incredible. You can join at blackwithnocream.com slash join. Do it. Add your name and place of residence to my latest Instagram post. And I promise to give your Instagram page a little peek. Thanks for watching.